Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a Halloween special read for all signs. Whoever resonates with this, that's who it's for. This is little Delilah. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. And she just lays here looking mad cute and sleeping. She's a little three pound teacup chihuahua that tolerates me doing this kind of crap stuff for my amusement. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And trust me, it's better to look at her than me. So she's the face. She's the face here. Okay, guys, there's two situations. Yeah, you know them already. Never give your money out to anybody on any social platform on the internet that contacts you ever. They are fugazi and they're trying to rob you. If you want to contact me, it's on you because I'll never reach out under any circumstances to anybody, okay? I will reply, but I will not reach out. So my information's in the box below on how to do that. The second situation are these friggin' buttons and these belts. So if you can find it in your heart to ring my bell, and hit my buttons, I would be ever so grateful. I'll thank you very profusely ahead of time. It's free, it's fun, and it's entertainment purposes only. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Sending Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the high, excuse me, good of the collective for the Halloween special. Happy Halloween, everybody. The veil, the veil is at its thinnest right now. And also, uh, in case somebody told you today, Delilah and I love you. Here we go. Show me what needs to be seen here. All right. So you got a queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, that's the mom queen. Somebody who's loving, kind, warm, nurturing. You know, they give. Um, they're supportive. Affectionate. You also have the magician in reverse. So this could be manipulation. This could be some kind of deception or illusion. This could be somebody who's greedy. This could also be a lack of mental clarity, like, uh, you know, somebody having mental issues. It's also, you know, it could be some kind of black magic or something like that. But it's trickery. Um, show me. Because what does the magician do? Tricks, right? Especially in reverse. Now, you got a page of cups at the foundation. Some of you, some of you could have got some information or some news. The page of cups is the messenger. So it's a, it's good news and it's a good message. It's water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, so it also could have been about somebody's emotions. Maybe somebody had emotions for you. Especially with the queen of cups there. That's a very loving energy. Maybe, you you know, this could be you and this, this is somebody around you. But somebody who's very, you know, they have an open heart. That's love right there, right? So, now, the crowning, you have an ace of wands. So, there is some kind of success or inspiration, some kind of creative spark, something that, you know, you're going to find very enthusiastic, you know, some kind of a new passion that maybe some of you are, you know, just birthing. Because, look, she's holding a new baby, right? Something that's going to be very successful. And maybe it has something to do with something that you're passionate about. Maybe some of you are turning your passions into, uh, you know, some kind of endeavor. Show me what's uh, coming in that they don't see. Okay, here we go. So we have, oh, the world. You're going to be successful. I'm so happy. Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. My own to me. All right. Who's ever reading this? Happy freaking Halloween. You are birthing something, maybe like I just said, something that you find passionate, right? And listen, what's better than, than turning your passion into, into financial success? I mean, you got to turn the passion. You're going to be very successful, okay? This is achievement, accomplishment, completion, all right? So, you, you know, this is, yeah, you definitely, and what you're achieving and what you're accomplishing is financial security here. And it could be, you know, based on something that you find very passionate. So that's like the best. Right? That's not, not having to go to work and just endure your job because you got to bring money in. That's doing something that you're passionate about so it never feels like work. And this is making you successful and financially abundant. Wow, I'm so happy for whoever's resonating with this. God bless you. Yeah, we're rooting for you over here. Woo -hoo. Okay, show me what's in the actual environment. Uh, did I tell you this is um, what deck this is? Because, uh, you know, I don't know why I feel like that's the need today. It's Halloween, but uh, this is the Deviant Moon tarot just seems appropriate show me okay so now you've got temperance so, all right so sagittarian energy this is you know keeping you cool this is a part of self-control temperance is you know it's zen it's um it's a really good card it's balance patience inner calm tranquility you know self-control not letting people antagonize you not letting people bait you into bullshit so, show me what the most likely... Uh, oh, no, show me what the uh, Spirit's advice, please. Spirit's advice. Wow, this is great. You, you guys are birthing something. You just... You, maybe you did it already. Like, you started something that was very passionate for you. 
you know, birth a new idea. I don't know if you could have been birthing babies. I mean, whatever it was, it's success, success, success. Today, the temporary. Let me see. What's the advice from spirit? Oh, God, my nose is itching, people. It's just crazy. Show me. Show me. One card for the advice from spirit, please and thank you. Just one. Clear ground. Give me one card. Ancestors, may I please have one? One. Let's do all flipping in my face like crazy. Okay, we'll keep at this as long as we have to. You know, you can't wear me down, right? Can't wear me down. Uh um. Show me. Show me one card for Spirit's advice, please and thank you. I could pick them, guys. You know, I could pull them out, but I really like them to pop. I really, you oh, no. there you go. Okay, well, now you got the Six of Wands. So, you know, this is victory. This is good news. Spirit's advising you to stay on course with whatever you're doing that you're passionate. Cause you got success and victory here. I mean, that's excellent. You are going to be victorious. Just keep tempering yourself. Don't lose your shit. That's what. Show me uh, the card for the most likely outcome. Bear in mind, we all have free will. You know, it's like um, you're one decision away, right? From changing your life. This is what I'm hearing. You're one decision away from changing your life. Well, yeah. Make sure you're making the right decisions. Sometimes it's better to take the harder, higher road, right? I thought that wanted to flip, but it didn't come out. Did you see that? Come on. Show me one card for the most likely outcome. Please and thank you. There you go. And that's how it should be. Oh, there's going to be a breakthrough. You guys getting a breakthrough in a situation. It's going to bring you nothing but success and victory here. Success and victory. Passion. Money. Just control yourself here. Okay. And whatever this, you know, whatever this is, this person that's uh, very manipulative, Gemini energy, don't even pay attention to them. Now, you got a four of coins. Yeah, what did I just say? Don't pay attention to them. Hold back. Four of coins talks about holding on tightly. It's holding back. It's not, you know, it's, um, yeah, the four of coins talks about, uh, it's kind of like hoarding, but it's not really because you're just holding back. You're holding back your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings. I mean, the, how could they say they're hoarding? Yeah, you only got four coins, right? You only have four pentacles here. So it's not like you're not... Maybe wanting to share, but you know, especially in this economy, right? The four pentacles aren't going to go very far. So just holding back, not overspending, not overgiving of yourself, your emotions, your material gains, your finances, your thoughts, your words, or even your affection, right? Okay, so let's see what we have as far as, uh, yeah, we have uh, Sagittarius here and Gemini. Uh, this, you know, there is fire. There is earth. I don't see swords. So not too much air at all, except for the Gemini up there, right? One, two. Okay, so now this is, uh, you know, I don't usually tell you what decks I'm using. Nobody asks, nobody cares, but this is the Crow Tower. And the reason why I'm telling you today is only because it's Halloween. And I really I haven't used these decks in forever, but I thought they would be cute for Halloween, right? Delilah really don't care. <laughs> she just ate. She's all full. She went out. It's time for a nap. Queen of Cups. Show me the Queen of Cups. This mom queen here, right? Oh, look at this. The Queen of Cups is clarifying the Queen of Cups. So this is like somebody who's really supportive. You were somebody else that didn't, you know, that's loving and caring and kind and affectionate and nurturing. So this is really, this is beautiful. I mean, that's really a beautiful thing. The Queen of Cups to clarify the Queen of Cups. So show me this, uh, you know, I don't believe in talking about whether it's a same sex relationship or not, because we're talking about energy. So, you know, the gender is not really, but a lot of people say when, uh, when the queen goes on top of a queen or a king goes, it could be same sex, but it doesn't matter. Okay. It's energy. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's the exchange of energy. So this could be somebody else. This could be two people, right? That just, you know, full of love. It could be a male and a female. It doesn't have, you know, yeah, there's no rules here. There's no tyro police. You got an ace of swords in reverse. So we're talking about um, maybe there's some kind of confusion or some kind of miscommunication. Okay, this could be two like mother figures, like I said. It could be some kind of clouded judgment. 
or maybe even some hostility with this Ace of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse also talks about, uh, you know, there could be a truth or a breakthrough, but maybe not making somebody happy. Like, it's not the best news. Okay. And uh, we got a page of wands. Yeah, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, like I said, could be getting some information. Now, page of wands, this guy, you know, male or female, this is somebody who's energetic and fearless. They're extroverted. They could be very cheerful. But they're also very flighty. They're in, they're out. They're unreliable. They're egotistical. You know, could be a little bit of a smart ass and a troublemaker. Conceited and definitely, you know, not committal. Like, they got, you know, yeah, they're not hanging around this page of wands. I got news for you. So... So they could be a little immature. There's something you don't see, okay? There's something that you don't see. You got this moon here, Cancer or Pisces energy. The moon talks about, um, you know, things being done in the dark. They say that haven't come out to the light, but it is using your intuition. It's 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 a deception. It's a, some kind of insecurity or instability. Maybe the, you know, you're worrying about things that you don't know. There could be things going on behind your back that you don't know, okay? With the moon, lies being told, whatever manipulation. So now you got a queen of pentacles. It's going to be something to do with your money. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, the, Taurus. The queen of pentacles is somebody who's like, she's a CEO of her own company. She's confident, responsible, organized, financially stable. So there could be something going on with your money. You know, like I said, but this is a hardworking, reliable energy, smart, efficient. Show me the queen of pentacles. Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please, and thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, on the Queen of Pentacles, you got the star. Mm, nice. So, you know, hope for the future. So, whatever this is, maybe you don't see this financial security coming in, or somebody who's financially secure. Earth energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, whatever, male or female. But this is going to bring you inspiration. This is hope for the future. This is enlightenment. This is... Um, Creativity and contentment, renewal, spirituality, healing. That's a beautiful thing. I'm hearing spread your wings and fly. Spread your wings and fly. Okay, so some of you got to spread your wings and fly. I mean, you got justice. There is fairness and balance coming in to a situation. Now, with this fairness and balance, this is Libra energy. So, you know, this could be something that's going to inspire you. You don't see it coming. There's money and some kind of fairness and balance that's going to inspire you. Show me. You know, if something was unjust or unfair, it's bouncing out now. So whatever side of the scale you're on there, only you know. No more one-sided shit. This is why. Oh, and you got an eight of wands. So again, fast forward activity, swift activity, some kind of information. Uh, eight of wands talks about correspondence, right? Eight, eight of wands talks about communication, maybe you know, traveling to see somebody or somebody rushing in to see you. It's a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, you know. It's fast forward movement, swift activity. You got a two of wands. This is whatever this is, this is going to inspire you, okay? The two of wands, we talked about this. The two of wands talks about maybe taking the first steps toward some kind of decisive um, decision that you made. It's... Um, it's taking risks and leaving comfort. It's planning. It's, you know, starting some kind of a journey. Putting putting the wheels in... Fixius? What? Fixius? I don't even know what that is, but it's the wheels in motion. Fixius. Fixius. Okay, whatever. I have to just listen. So we got the Five of Pentacles. All right. The Five of Pentacles. This talks about uh, loss, hardship, some kind of maybe financial you know, destitution, there could be poverty, struggle, unemployment. Show me. Maybe you guys are inspired, not, you know, like you maybe are coming out of a place of that, some kind of a void, whether it's financially or not, and now you're inspired to, uh, yeah, you're going to find the inspiration to get yourself out of that. Oh, and I'm hearing never let it happen again. Wow, good for you. Good for you. So, that's like laying down a legacy now. Now this is what I'm hearing. You also have the five of wands. So this is, uh, this is Leo energy. This is conflict. This is struggle. This is people, you know, starting shit, being drama, bringing aggravation and discontent and, you know, anything they could do to ruffle your feathers. You also have 
a three of pentacles here. So three of pentacles does talk about, you know, teamwork and collaboration. Somebody that has shared goals. It's apprenticeship. It's learning how to do things different and new. It's putting effort, you know, working with others. So I hope you don't have to work with somebody who's got like this aggression towards you. Oh, you got a king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Oh, this could, you know, to me, the king of wands is usually Leo. But uh, regardless, it's some kind of fire sign. Maybe that you're going to be working closely with or that you both have some kind of common goal. Um, you know, there could have been some, some because because don't forget, you do have this, uh, the five of wands, which is another Leo. So there could have been some conflict and struggle and disputes with this person. But it looks like it's coming to an end. Okay, let's start down here. Show me this world. What is this? This is a good thing here, the world. Yeah, there's an ending to some kind of a situation. And with this ending is going to bring you success. This is death. This is Scorpio energy, okay? Uh, the death card talks about, yeah, that's really good. Some kind of spiritual transformation, some kind of new beginning, you know, letting go. It's an ending and a change. It is an upheaval, but it, it's for the better bit, like, so that something new and better could start. One door has to close, so another door opens, right? Show me the death here. Show me the death here, please. We have, okay, we have the three of cups in reverse. Uh, all right, so the three of cups in reverse, this talks about, uh, you know, maybe being lonely or there's some kind of imbalanced social life, maybe isolation, solitude. And this all could be coming to, there could have been a third party situation that made you, you know, and there could be an ending of a third party situation that put you in a place of loneliness. Like it did come to an end. Maybe some of you walked away because of it. All right. Um, maybe you were trying to work with somebody up here. Or you're going to be trying, but then there's like some kind of a, Ending to some kind of third-party situation. It's going to bring you success, though. I mean, it's the best thing that could happen, right? Nobody needs to be in all that. You do have a ten of uh, cups. Yeah, this is going to bring you ultimate happiness. Or, if there was some kind of third-party situation that came to an end here, you know, it's going to bring you ultimate happiness. This is the ten of cups. Everybody wants this card, right? This is... Happy wife, happy life. Everybody's satiated, having everything they need. You've got a ten of cups, and now you've got financial security, too. So, I mean, that's, like, really good. This is ultimate happiness and some kind of financial or material security. I mean, what's better than that? Who's better than you? That's what, who's better than you with all these tens? These are the best tens to get. You don't want the wands and the swords. You also have a nine of cups. So, what is this? I'm telling you, success. There is success. There's happiness. This is going to bring you, you know, comfort and, and wishes coming true. Some kind of satisfaction. So this is so good. I'm so happy forever this is. This is a beautiful, beautiful Halloween reading. Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. I'm so happy for whoever this is resonating with. You know, don't feel bad. Things got to come to an end. Nothing lasts forever. That's one constant in life is change. Okay, now I'm hearing Kenny Rogers. You got to roll with the pony. No when to fold them. No. I don't know. I don't even know that song, but okay, whatever. Let's see. Sometimes I feel like Bumblebee with the radio comes on and this gives us messages. Okay, so you got the world in reverse now. So, you know, the world in reverse could talk about, you know, some kind of stagnation, maybe um, some something being incomplete, something not moving as quickly. Maybe there isn't some some kind of completion, um, an incompletion, an infulfillment, um, a lack of achievement or success. And you also got the three of wands in reverse. So, you know, that's like a lack of progress too. It's like obstacles in your way. It's like, uh, you know, it's also like playing it small, not like going in for the gusto. It's like playing it safe, right? Maybe because there is some kind of you know, lack of success that you think that's there. Show me this. Are we in the upright? Let's take a look. Yeah, we're in the upright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's finish this out for Halloween. Okay, so now you have a Queen of Swords. So, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is the thinking queen. This is somebody that's using their head. They're logical. They're smart. They're assertive. They're articulate. They think about everything. Okay, they could be a little manipulative because of that, because they're that smart. All right, they even think about the things that they're saying. Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's um, very capable. Could be a widow, somebody in separation or mourning, but smart. I can't believe how loud she's storming this. Listen, wait. She snores so loud sometimes, it's ridiculous. You would think she's a Rottweiler or something. Well, she thinks she is, but let's not let's not tell her, okay? <laughs> you know that? It's crazy, right? So cute. 
Okay. Show me the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. So there's a lot of options, okay? And that's probably why you're, you're using your head and you're being very discerning. Because while the Seven of Cups does talk about a lot of options, it's also taking a moment to sit back and look about what's in each of the cups, right? We don't want to just pick any cup and wind up with a snake or even this heart that looks like it was cut out of somebody's chest, right? This house looks like a haunted house from hell. Although I would probably like to live there, but that's a whole other thing. You know, you want to pick maybe, you know, the flower or something nice. So you're being discerning. You're taking the time to look and see what's in these cups, right? This is a good thing to do. It's thinking about your choices and picking the right ones now, right? It's a mature energy. It's being responsible. Now, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. It can turn it in your favor. Mink, that's so good. Again, Sagittarian energy. The Wheel of Fortune, good luck. Good karma's on your side. This is for you now, okay? This is great. This is um, fate and uh, destiny. Good luck. It's your time to shine, right? Show me this. This one wants to come out. King of Swords, look at this. Your divine counterpart. Maybe that's why you're being so discerning. Because you're waiting... Oh, you're not going to settle here. See, the Seven of Cups is being beaten. You're not going to settle for any cup. So you're waiting for the real deal, somebody worthy. Now, this is your divine counterpart. The King of Swords, this is the thinking king, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be somebody in the military of the law, but efficient, smart, a problem solver. Somebody who's, uh, you know, definitely skilled and brave, straightforward, and, again, very articulate. You know, they have no problem. But they think about everything. They're very logical and smart. They don't just, you know... Oh, my nose is itching. Okay. So now let's see. So now show me this King of Swords here. What is this? Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and bringing in your soulmate, people. Who's ever out there that's resonating with this? Now you got to see. Yeah, look at this. The Six of Pentacles. So stability. This is stability. It's, it's Wheel of Fortune is bringing you in the love of your life, soulmate, twin flame, whatever the hell you want to call it, and stability and money. I mean, yeah. Look at the lovers. What did I just tell you? So you got Gemini energy. There is a choice you have to make, but this is the lovers. I mean, this is the lovers. The king and queen of... The king and queen of swords. The thinking... The thinking. Okay. Show me the lovers, please. So I did tell you Gemini energy. And having to make some kind of a choice. But that's about your stability. You're going to have to make some kind of choice about your stability. Can you believe this talk how good she is? Yeah, we're going to take these. Because we still have the judgment. You got a knight of cups. So somebody coming in to offer you emotions. Okay, uh, they could have water in their chart or not, but it's somebody coming in to offer you, they have some feelings for you, they're coming in maybe to ask you on a date or something like that. Um, you maybe don't want to take a look at this because maybe you're worried about your stability here. Um, the two of swords is being in some kind of denial. Okay, the two of swords is maybe having a choice to make and being stuck in the middle, right? Oh, now I'm here and stuck in the middle with you. Ooh, I don't even know how that song goes. And there's also a King of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are trying to choose between your finances or love. You also have the Queen of Pentacles up here. So this, you know, this is a power couple. So maybe you have to choose between two. And this is where the problem's coming in. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords. Somebody's a lawyer. Somebody's doing fugazi shit. This is my card of premeditation, right? This is, uh, you know, somebody that doesn't have your higher good. Excuse me for my arms. I'm going to get some kippers and I'm going to get you one... Um, one uh, oracle card from the everyday witch. Let's see what kippers have. But, you know, yeah. So don't be in denial. Take the blindfold off and, you know, and sometimes you don't want to see things. But see, it's everybody for who they are. Be a realist. They may make the right, right choices here. You know, because you got financial success. I mean, king and queens of pentacles. And you got, yeah, somebody who's going to match you intellectually. So there you go. Show me. Okay, so there's a mature woman involved in this, number six. Some of you could be going on a trip or a journey. Number 10. You know, vacation or maybe just, you know, see somebody or maybe just whatever. We're in planes, trains, automobiles. Show me. Can you believe Delilah? Look at Delilah. I can't. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. Can you believe Delilah? Look at Delilah. Look at And so much for everybody who says the hats are bothering her. Because they really look like she's being bothered by that hat, doesn't she? Not. Okay. You have some kind of privileged lady. Number 12 or number 3. So maybe that's the mature woman. And maybe somebody's going to see her or whatever. Yeah, show me. I'm going to get your numerology. We do numerology on this channel, right? I tell you all the time. It's very important. 
should know your life path too. And whoever doesn't know how to figure out your life path, hit me up and I'll tell you. I'll do it for you. No charge, just whatever. Everybody should know their life path. <coughs> Here we go. Let me fix this hot mess. Okay. So now we have some kind of courthouse. So some kind of legal matters, something involving a courthouse, 23 or 5. <coughs> Excuse me. We have thoughts. So this is free parking, right? This is somebody's got space in somebody's head. Nobody pays any rent. All right. So you also have a W, a C, an O. I don't know. All right. There's also a C up there. I don't know what it's with the kippers and the C in the M. You got F, W, Baker. You got C, you got M on the front of this train. And over here, uh, there could be a thief or, you know, I always tell you that maybe two people working together or more. Because this one's got the Victoria's Secret bra on, right? Boobs all pushed up in this guy's face. He can't help but look. I mean, he's a man, right? He's only mortal. And this one is picking out of the pocket. So be careful of, you know, people that are working together against you in some kind of way, maybe to rob something. You know, maybe they're going to be taken to court. This is why, uh, you know, 24 or 6. So, let me see. One more for the uh, numerology, maybe. We have one more for numerology. There's a lot of numerology on this board already. Kippy, you have anything? I'm going to give you all the numbers because there's a lot of you. And uh, those are angel codes. If you go stick the numbers in Google, you'll get some kind of, you know, angel code or message or whatever it is. So now you got 26. This is a great fortune. Yeah. Well, there's not going to be if somebody's robbing you, okay? I just have to tell you that. And they're thinking about how they're going to do it, too. So 26 or 8. So now you have 2, 2, 2, 2. You also have 6, 6, 6, 6. Don't be afraid of sixes, okay? You have, uh, yeah. So two, 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 and six, 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 six. That's about it. There's one, one, one as well. At the bottom, 25 or seven. High honor. That means you can have respect for somebody, hold them in high honor. Or maybe they hold you in high honor. It doesn't have to be somebody in the military. The Oracle, though, it could be. We're going to get you, uh, yeah, one Oracle card from the Everyday Witch Oracles. And thank you so much. Happy Halloween again. Delilah and I love you, and please, please hit those buttons. Ring the bells, hit the buttons, right? It's all it's all good. So here we go. We're going to take them all because there's a lot of you. So air magic, okay? Some of you need to get out in the air, okay? And uh, hibernation and regen regeneration. Some of you need to get some more rest, okay? Maybe spend some time by yourself. Maybe go out for some kind of a nature walk by yourself. Ground with nature. Uh, healing crystals as well, I'm seeing. Inspiration and courage. So... You know, I mean, that's on you. And learn from life. Take your lessons. Find them inspiring. Be courageous and go out after you get some rest and take control. Imagine and envision. So, guys, you know, yeah, let me do this. This is the Halloween special. Here's some letters. They're going to be places. People, places, and things, okay? Whatever I don't see, don't forget. It's kind of like the Wheel of Fortune, right? Because it's in front of me. I can't see it. From your perspective, you might... You know, you might see. Okay, so socks. I'm hearing red socks. So isn't that um, isn't that Boston? So now I'm getting Boston. I'm also hearing Troy. Troy. I'm hearing um, Travis. I'm hearing Travis. I'm hearing Teresa. I'm hearing train. Some of you could be getting on a train. Well, we said that, right? Uh, and taking a trek. I also hear X. There's some kind of X involved in this situation. Uh, you have... Um, some of you could be parting ways, right? Parting ways. And there could be a Pat or a Patty or a Patrick or a Patrice. You have an M, Michael, Maryland, uh, Matthew, Michelle, Miranda, Marissa or Melissa. There's an H, Harry, what? Hawthorne, Hawthorne. What is Hawthorne? I don't know. You have um, Do. So, oh, some of you could be having some voodoo put on you, or they, somebody could be doing voodoo. Um, there also could be some kind of doves involved in the situation. Um, all right, let's see. You got a C. I'm hearing Chris or uh, Christine or, let me see. Crimson? Some of you might like to wear crimson. Um, crimson could also be a place. Crimsy? Grimsy? Prims, um, A, Faye, I have Faye, there is a G, we have uh, Gina, 
We have George. I'm hearing Goliath. I don't know. Uh, okay, you have a Y and an E and an X. So there's an X. Some of you are having sex. Some of you are sending out a FedEx. Right? Some of you may be sending out a FedEx to somebody. That's what I'm getting here. FedEx. Right there. Um, prime, like I said. It was a Prime. Hope. Chop. Chat. Chive. I don't know. Whatever you guys see. Okay, so I'm going to leave these letters here. Priscilla. Paul or Phil, I'm also hearing. Philly. Philly, Philadelphia. Okay, guys, there you go. Thank you so much again. Always leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.